In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way to create a realistic dual lighting effect inside of Photoshop 2025. Let's not waste any more time and dive straight in. This is the image that we're going to be working with. If you want to follow along, there's a link to the image in the description below. Start by creating a solid color layer and selecting a color of your choice. Next, double click the right hand side of the layer to open up your blend options or simply right click the layer and select blend options. From here, we're going to change the underlying and current layer in the blend if section. Start by holding option on Mac or alt on Windows, click the dark arrow to split it and then drag it to the right hand side. Do the same with the white arrow but drag this to the left. On the current layer, split the white arrow and then drag this to about halfway. Then hit OK. Next, with our color layer selected, create a copy using the shortcut command J. In our new layer, click the colored section and change this to a secondary color of your choice. Now select the layer mask of our secondary color. Hit B to select your brush tool and make sure that you have a soft brush selected. Hit D on your keyboard to make sure that black is your foreground color. If it's white, simply just hit X to cycle between black and white. Then with our brush tool, simply just paint over and remove the color from one side of the image. This is already looking pretty good, but if you want to take it even further, here's how you could do that. Start by creating a blank layer. Then select your wand tool by hitting W on the keyboard and use Shift plus W to cycle through your wand tools. Change the tolerance so that it's set to 50 and make sure you have contiguous unchecked. Now select the brightest area of highlights on your subject's face. Then go to select, modify and feather. Set the radius to around 50 pixels and hit OK. Hit G on your keyboard to select your paint bucket tool. Then with the same color as the lighting, click the image. Reduce the opacity to something which looks a bit more natural like 50%. Add a layer mask and then with a soft brush remove this effect from the background but make sure to keep it visible on any highlights on your model's face. The last thing we're going to do is add a hue saturation layer and slightly increase the overall saturation to really bring out the prominence of this effect. All you need to do is fine tune the image to your liking and then you're done. If you've made it this far, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more educational content like this. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.